the final piece number six is the last piece that is based off a off of a toy that WC's Dollar Shoe Shoe had. Remember I told you there were about three or four pieces that were based off of actual toys that she had and this one was a toy in Baby Girl Room. If she only knew. <laughs> the name of this piece is Gollywog's Cakewalk. If you don't know what a Gollywog is, <laughs> this is a Gollywog ladies and gentlemen. Gollywog's Cakewalk. Let's talk about the name. So a gollywog is, it was, well, it still is, is a toy that was very popular <laughs> for, you know, obvious reasons. It was a very racist toy. Very, very, very racist. And a cakewalk is actually a dance that African American slaves created. A cakewalk was specifically like a, a type of dance that they did to mock their slave masters. So Golly Wall's cakewalk has a lot of African American influence. The reason why I joke around so much with this piece is because I've actually been a part of conversations where I will be asked questions. Do you think this piece is racist? How do you feel performing it? And this is my personal opinion. Um, I've been playing this piece since like undergrad so i graduated in 2018 for a good three or four years now me personally one thing that i need people to remember is that the purpose of any type of music that is composed is to reflect the culture and things that were going on during that time that the music was composed because you got to remember this collection was composed between 1906 and 1908 okay but what was also happening during that time was the popularity of menstrual shows. That's where, you know, you get the gollywog and, you know, white people dress, uh, dressing up in blackface, making fun of African men. You know, menstrual shows. Do your research on menstrual shows if you do not know what they are. I don't see how you don't know what they are, but to each his own reason. If that's still not enough for you and if you still kind of find yourself having an issue... You know with this piece i don't necessarily see how but i don't like to just assume that people are supposed to feel the way that i feel one thing that i always remind myself and that i like to remind people of other things especially when it comes to like this piece don't make something out of nothing i i i personally never felt offended by this piece because like i said any type of music this music was composed to reflect the times that was going on she was a little girl hella gollywog she more than like she was three years old she more than likely didn't know what it meant it was probably just some little silly little doll to her as for Debussy I cannot speak for him he has been dead for officially 103 years so you're gonna have to ask him that this is this is such a lively piece I really I really do enjoy playing this piece it's very fun and it's very dramatic and another thing that I also want to mention about this piece if you remember earlier when going back to the very first piece Dr. Gratis at Parnassum I told you that there will be another piece where WC is poking fun at composers and this is one of them so the composer that he's poking fun of in Gollywog is um uh, the famous opera composer Richard Wagner not Richard Ragnar Richard Wagner um I, I have always been familiar with his first name being pronounced Richard I don't know if it's Ricard but you know correct me if I'm wrong but Richard Wagner you got to get that last name right there's a specific section in here where again you kind of have WC you know having fun with satire where he's kind of making a joke about uh this thing that you find in one of Wagner's opera uh Tristan und Insolde I hope I pronounced that right if I didn't correct me but yes there's a section in here where he's making fun of a melody and then it switches to a like a it's a, you'll hear it it's like so before I finish, like again, I want to thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. This has been fun for me. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you guys have enjoyed my performances. I still got a long way to go, but I'm closer than I've been before, okay? So we always got to remember, you may not be where you want to be, but thank God you ain't where you used to be. So without further chit-chat, I hope you guys enjoyed this final piece of WC Children's Corner Suite. Uh, golly walls cake walk thank you guys again so much for sticking it out with me until the next time we see each other be kind to yourself be kind to others and go practice bye y'all